with the main event. So we have located the best mustache in all of downtown Las Vegas. And this wasn't an easy process. Went through many rounds, and you, my friend, <laughs> are the winner. So that is the best mustache that we could find. Yes. Thank you. Uh, actually, can we that. have makeup come out here and just touch that up one little bit while I talk through it? So this is Paco Alvarez. He works at Zappos. And you might remember him from one of the earlier episodes because you are a historian downtown and working at Zappos. Um, and then Aziz, I'm new to meeting you, but you are running the entire, um, I guess, group or whatever it is inside Zappos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I guess. Uh, Zappos self-appointed chief Movember guy. Oh, self-appointed. Self-appointed right That's there. I, I think too. highly of yeah. myself. That's how you become host. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Um, <laughs> anyways. Okay, so uh, I guess you probably noticed I'm not participating. So really Are you even old enough to grow no, a mustache I, or a beard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, kidding. we're going there right <laughs> off the bat. That's a poor. I, I know, we did. I, I had to say it. You know. um, but it doesn't mean that I love prostate cancer. It just means I am neutral, right? That's still not a good answer. <laughs> Should, yeah, I just don't know how it all works. So if you want to sign up, join any Movember team, start your own team, it's simple. Just go to Movember.com. Uh, it'll auto direct you to the United States and you can you know, click sign up, follow the process. If you have buddies that are doing it already, great. Join up with them, you know, start raising as a collective. If not, uh, become that one man mustache show and just go rock it. Um, can I use this to make friends? I hope so. It's, it's, okay. it's always good to have a buddy with a mustache, especially okay. in a fight. So, <laughs> oh, these protect you? Oh, because he looks so tough that people are scared of you. I, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll go to the website. Um, it's obviously too late, right? It's never too late. No. You can oh, do you it right now. I yeah. still be in. Yeah, you don't, I mean, you don't have to start the first to, to go. And if you want to grow, join up now, start growing. Uh, if you have a friend who you want to support, it's okay. never too late. I see where this is going. There's no more excuses. <laughs> you, guys think I, you guys think I should do it? Yeah. 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 Oh, I said, yeah, 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 so tell me, I'm going to do this to explain what I'm doing. What is all of this stuff, and um, how does it work? Well, I, I started growing my mustache uh, November 1st of last year, and I did not shave since. Uh, though my beard would have been a lot bigger. Um, I had a little bit of an accident with the blade guard on my, <laughs> you know, which was, and I ended up shaving it almost all off, except for the mustache. Okay. And I have uh, put out a challenge to Aziz that uh, he asked me how much would it take or how much money would they have to raise for me to shave the mustache. And I said $100,000. They could raise hundred thousand dollars. I will shave everything. I was going for five grand. So yeah, well, much, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 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 a high end bitch, so yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not a cheap date. So if they can raise a hundred thousand, trying, you know, you really are. Right, we can right, use yeah. your guys' help. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I have to say. Um, prior to me working at Zappos, I was completely clean shaven. Uh, ha having uh, facial hair in my previous place of employment was kind of looked down upon, even though we didn't have any policy on it. And then all of a sudden I go to Zappos, which is a, a very fun working environment. Guys are a little bit more loose and stuff like that. And I was, right. Well, not loose. Well, <laughs> let me take we that back. <laughs> Hold on, let me take that back. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> like and I, you know, you know, I'm a zeitgeist. Yeah. You know, I'm a product of my environment. And I, I said, well, I'm going to grow my facial hair. And then all of a sudden, I was sitting on the sofa and I was playing with my mustache. And I thought, what is going on here? And, and I looked in the mirror and I said, I could actually grow a, a handlebar mustache. And I started gelling it. And next thing uh, you know, yeah. I, I looked like a hipster. So it was pretty cool. Okay, so that that's what I want to talk about next. If I'm going to join the club, I'm worried I'll not fit in. So what's the like how, how do I be like inside baseball with you guys? Like when, when it comes, like what are the <laughs> styles? I mean, there's all kinds of mustaches. So we have the handlebar, the, I call this one the Super Mario. This one? Um, oh. yeah, or that one right there, yeah. We've got the Chaplin slash Hitler you can do. There's a <laughs> food <laughs> chew. <laughs> To be real here, if you rock a Charlie Chaplin mustache, we all know what people are thinking. Um, I'm on, I have a novice mustache right now. I've been growing this since I was 13 years old, and I'm hoping to get there this year. That was last year. Yeah. <laughs> so those are. Paco. <laughs> okay, so there's, so there's a bunch of different styles. What um, what can I anticipate as far as? Uh, Feeling tougher or beating a lot up. of confidence. Okay, the ability so to go up to strangers and just be right. like, "Hey, man, nice mustache," 
and they will say thank you, sir, and you'll just walk them along, you know, really? doing your thing. Lots of confidence building. I don't feel nearly yeah. as confident as I do without a full grown so mustache. Do you, do you think Paco was telling the truth when he told me you got a free beer for wearing a mustache with this? You curl? believe that? Yes, actually, uh, I was in New York in August, moving my mother from New New York uh, to Las Vegas, and there are bars in Williamsburg, which is like Hipsterville. They will give you a free beer for having a handlebar mustache. Really? It's unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. You yeah, know. It's like a yeah, <laughs> you know, in New York, yeah, especially. That is amazing. Those I, you know, I got to tell you something. I've, I've always been someone with very low self-esteem, and, and when I started growing this, and the compliments I get from both men, women, and, and, and children, you know, the kids love it. They're like, look at the kid, look at that mustache, so cool, you know. I was, like, so excited. It makes me, you know, I've, I've always either been too skinny or too chubby, and, and I, I never considered myself Finally good looking. And then I've got this thing going on, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm, like, yeah. cool. You know, it's like, all right. Because yeah. I want it to be real fun right off the bat, but I got to go through like a phase, right? <laughs> and what's the typical <laughs> phase before it's cool, before it like looks good? Oh, um, I think if you can commit to four weeks, it's going to look glorious. Yeah. Uh, you know, the first week you're like, this is okay, I have a little stubble. The second week, you know, it's like a little gerbil living on your face. The third week, you're like, what the hell is this thing? I want to shave it off. <laughs> By week four, you've committed to your mustache, to your beard. Okay. Um, you're ready to rock. Okay, so it's a four-week endeavor. I think so. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm excited. So why do I have um, so many... Here. So growing a Quite handlebar different. mustache in Vegas is a nightmare. And, and the reason why is because you actually have to use wax to keep this up. There's more wax in my mustache than all of the, the, cath, uh, all of the candles in a Roman Catholic basilica. I mean, it's, I mean this, but in Vegas, yeah, you can. Oh, that turned me that on. That is a lot oh, that's, of wax. Yeah, it's a lot of wax. It turned me on. Do that again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Oh, sorry. Oh, and then he messes it up. No, so anyway. Um, it off. It's it, Vegas is hot and wax melts, and so you have to experiment with all different types of waxes. So this is what you, you can get Clubman uh, in the local store. This is another type of wax. But ultimately, I settled with the best wax in the world, which is the Firehouse brand, which is tacky. It is made in Mississippi, and it was created by a fireman who has a handlebar mustache. Mm -hmm. And because Mississippi's hot and humid, he invented this stuff. And it's 12 bucks for this little can, but it's the best in the oh, world. Oh, sure. And you fireman. just have to um, experiment with it because in Vegas, it's 110 degrees out. And you're, after you play with the, the wax, it's, your mustache starts mm -hmm. melting. It's a hot mess. So. Um, but it this takes. Fireman is just saving people with handlebars. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. This, just, I, got you, I really, yeah. I really am excited <laughs> about this guy, and it's a made in the USA. You know, which is awesome. Um, and then, yeah, of course, I do beer scent for the you know kind of quasi decent beer that I have. You know, yeah, it's oh, apple. Beer scent. That's a smell. That's like yeah. A, no, absolutely. Beer you want to smell it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's totally. you know, and I use pomade too. Enough. I use pomade in this hair, but. You just smell yeah, it. Yeah, But you smell you, it all this, right? Yeah, and this smells like coconut. Oh, you, smell? yes, you can get high off this stuff. <laughs> so. All right. <laughs> that, what, what, where do I go? Like, what's the website? Call to action for, of course, me, but everybody else. Uh, just go to Movember.com and click sign up if you haven't already. Okay. Uh, it's, it'll find Vegas for you, and it's super easy. Now, how many people have you got? What's that? Oh, that's a mustache on your shirt? I was trying to look like Paco earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then how many people at Zappos do you have doing it? Uh, right now, I think we're at 150 people. Uh, hoping to pass 350 this year. That's so crazy yeah. and awesome. And I'm it's a, it's a, it's a. I'm so scared and like <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. And I, just do it. Yeah. The only way you'll know what it's like is if you try. <laughs> that was close. I don't know. That's not close. <laughs> I'm sorry, you give me like this dead talk, eyes you look. Talk yeah. 300 people into it. Give me, give me your spiel. If I was a Zappos guy, like, oh, I'm just trying to fit in. I'm an intern. <laughs> I'm an intern. You guys. Uh, <laughs> I can't do this. I feel bad if I do that to an intern. Yeah, grow a mustache and we'll fire you, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I would scare. I would scare. I put the fear of death into an intern, like just for fun. Okay, thank you guys very much for your time. Really Thanks appreciate so much it. For having really 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 totally. I'm gonna get in trouble. Grow a stash. Grow a stash. Next couple weeks, I'm gonna do it. Thank you guys. You talk to me and do it. All right. Appreciate it. Tag.